she was pregnant and so was his girlfriend at the same time. She wanted my son to leave his wife and he wouldn't do it. And then her boyfriend found out that that baby belonged to my son and things went crazy, talking about killing my son and stuff. And then all of a sudden his wife just went real calm wanted to go camping. She came back and he didn't. This guy had a party that night and just so happened to be about a mile or so away from where they supposed to camp. He didn't come home Sunday. He didn't come home Monday. And then I started getting worried and then he, his boss came by and said, is everything okay? Your husband's missing and you can't take time to go find him? She gave me the directions to this guy's campsite. It had been raining and it stormed like Saturday, Sunday, and part of Monday. There shouldn't have been no tracks out there, but there was one set of tracks in and one set of tracks out. So we went there and there was a tent crumpled up, which should not have been there. It should have blown away in the storm because it wasn't anchored down or anything. There was clothes all nice and neatly laid out, dry. So I took pictures of everything, started walking the bank. Well, I found my son out there in the river. She called 911 and here they come. He was buck naked, here down, was in the water, and he was like draped over some logs like he was reaching for the bank and his face was down. It's been hell. It's no more laughter. You don't get to talk to him. It's been hell. Everybody thinks, huh? Just a grieving mom, just a grieving mom. Just leave things alone. No, I'm not leave nothing alone. If it was your kid, you'd be doing the same as me. And they would be. What do you miss most about him? Everything. Everything. I just miss everything. So what do you think happened to your son? This guy killed him. He caught him one too many times together. Was walking backwards down in a little embankment to the river. Got in the river, got on his back, and floated down the river. And his blood alcohol content was 0.549. At 549, you're not raping anybody. You're not even getting up and walking. They just took her word. They closed the case and my son grew up on the river. My son wasn't like that. But the clothes he wore there, nobody found it. They just didn't do nothing about it. Case file. In order to get a better understanding on what happened to Donnie the night he died, we've decided to head out to the campsite and see it firsthand. Never, never, never ever thought I'd find him floating in the water. I figured he'd be sitting there fishing on the bank. How do you feel being out here? I tough it out. Good like coming up here fishing. I cry a lot. Just makes me think about how wrong everything was. He didn't need to die like he did. He didn't need to die at all. You ever talk to him when you're out here? Yeah, 
Yeah. But I know he's around. It ain't fair. They all just lied and lied and lied. They expect me to sit back and shut up and just leave things alone. No, I can't. I won't. I will not let it go until I find out the truth. You want to run a session out here? Sure. See if we can talk to him? No, that'd be awesome. See if you can talk to him? Yeah. Hey, we're looking to communicate with any spirits that may know what happened to Donnie Rickard from Indiana. We're out here with his mother. Can anybody hear us? Donnie, can you see us? Donnie, we're out here with your mom, Cindy. Do you have a message for your mom? Who are we speaking to? Are you out there? Who killed you, boy? Donnie, who killed you? How'd you die? You hear that? Donnie, was your death an accident? Donnie, did somebody kill you out here by the river? Donnie, if somebody hurts you, who hurt you? You go back to your mom's house? Donnie, did the help kill you? There's definitely a male voice coming across. So it sounds like him in the car. Donnie, do you remember what happened the night that you died? Keep saying water over and over again. You know your mom is the one that found your body? Donnie, were you dead before you went into the water? Donnie, we're going to be back at your mom's house tonight investigating her house, if you can come there and talk to us, okay? Donnie, just go to the house. And you be honest about who killed you, how you died. We're just trying to find out answers for your mom, okay? I kept hearing water and river. With the sun setting, we decide to head back to Cindy's house to begin our investigation. Cindy believes there are several different spirits haunting her home. Hopefully tonight, my brothers and I can find out who or what is haunting Cindy's house. The house was built in 1910 by this old man for his wife. A glimpse of him walking past you, you know, and a white t-shirt on, but you couldn't never see him, you just get a glimpse of his clothes, and then you'd, you'd hear this old lady, that basement door, you could hear it, and it would open, you know, it makes that scratch sound. I ain't going down there, not by myself. He died by that basement door, and she died in that front bedroom. I have a friend stay down there, kept hearing things, kept hearing things, and he said he was so scared, he made it to the stairwell. And he sat there, he was so scared to move, he run up the stairs and hurry up and shut the door. He said, man, I can't go down there no more. Did you hear that? Hmm? 
I feel like it's my moving furniture. You ever hear walking and stuff? <laughs> All the time. All the time. He said that doorknob was rattling, somebody was trying to get in. I mean, you could tell the man was scared. He would never go back in the basement. I used to be scared to death to even sit in my kitchen, hear things on the stairwell all the time. And then one night, I was in there washing dishes, and I heard hur, hur. The kitchen lights were flickering so fast. So do you think Donnie's here? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's around here. You know, he just gives me signs that he's here. His favorite route was down the side and come in through the back. And two different times, and you can see somebody walk up to the fence, push the gate open, but nobody was there when it came out. And then the door shut behind him. That happened twice. Yeah, it's just, just crazy things around here. There's somebody upstairs. I don't have an upstairs. What's that? Mm -hmm. That was freaking loud. So it's just this floor, then the basement? Uh -huh. A few years ago, he was staying with us, and he was sleeping on the couch. He goes, oh, who's the little girl? And he turned around and looked at him, he said, what little girl? He said, there was a little girl about this tall, had long blonde hair, and a little white nightgown on, standing right behind you, watching you play on the computer. And he was standing there talking to us, and all three of us at the same time, we saw it. A black thing went running from that room down over to the basement stairs. Yeah. Unplug and then also unscrew. If you can touch that, I can't because of the spiders. Okay, now you're gonna have to I gotta get out of here. Which one is it? Is it a pair? Mm-hmm. What's that? REM pod. Oh, it's a REM pod normal? See, it went off just a few months ago. I came in, but I didn't know which one it was. We've been working with Cindy all day today. We're gonna start the investigation. She wanted to find out if he was murdered or if it was just an accidental drowning. Also, they've had paranormal activity taking place inside this house. This house is well over 100 years old and everybody that's been inside this house has had experiences. A lot of it comes from the basement. Everybody's like super creeped out by the basement. So we've got cameras and alarms in the basement. We've got cameras in the bedrooms and out here with us. Supposedly people have seen there's an elderly man that died here, elderly woman that died here. Cindy's mom died in the room where the REM pod keeps going off. And then there's been a couple people seeing a little blonde haired girl in this house. And then Donnie, Cindy believes her son, is right in this room. That's wild. I got like cool chill. You mentioned his name, then it goes off. When we were doing interviews, it sounded like somebody's running through the house. It was crazy. Okay, if there's anybody in this house, Rocky and I are in here right now. We came here from Ohio to talk to you, to find out who you are. Earlier today, I heard somebody walking. Who was walking inside this house? They said that there's an old man and an old woman that's inside this house. Can you see or hear us? Is there a little girl in here? Let's see if he'll set off the alarm in the basement. If you're down in the basement, I've got an alarm down there. You hear that? What is it? Alarm in the basement's going off.
I use some of Donnie's items as trigger objects. Hope it's going off like crazy. Are you over by our alarm? Oh, it's lighting the rim pot up. Can you move away from our alarm? We're here working with your mom. She believes that you came here after you died. I've got some of your items here, your little toy truck, your metal. It's upstairs going off now. Are you walking upstairs? Donnie, if you're inside this house, your mom. Camera just shut off. You have a battery? Yeah. That's weird. That was completely charged. This camera never freaking shuts off. Who's upstairs walking? Hello? Who's back there? Can you hit something really hard for us? Did you die inside this house? What is your name? This room behind me is so freaking creepy. My name is Josh. What is your name? My name is Josh. What is your name? Someone just moved. That was the kitchen. Did you hear that? It was dun -dun. Nani, if that was you, can you do that again? Are you upstairs? We want to talk to you. Did you hear it? Who was that? Who just screamed? Screamed. There it is. Where's it on that? I hope one of those cameras up there picked that up. Yeah. Can we hear you again?
Who was up here walking? What was that? Did you hear that move? Something moved. Can we hear you again? Who was up here walking? Here? No, there's a woman talking. Is there a woman in here? Can we hear the woman again? Just test out this room. I just want to hit an area that feels creepy. Who is in here with us? I mean, she's caught some crazy shit on her security cameras. Was that you? Are you in this room? This is where you keep setting the alarm off. What the hell? That was creepy, man. What? They was. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen since we've been ghost hunting. I moved my hand down like this. And there's another hand right here that moved down with my hand. Oh wow! You felt it or on video? No, I I looked down as I was moving my hand down, and there was another hand that went down with my hand. That's out there. Probably well, just got colder in here. Mm hmm. I'm getting a cold breeze right now. We can feel you. We get a cold sensation when you're near us. Who did we hear talking? You hear? It sounded like it came, that voice came from the basement. It sounded like it was saying, Mommy. It knocked real loud, and then there was a kid's voice. It sounded like, it, yeah, like a kid saying, Mommy. I got goosebumps. Who is the kid inside this house? Are you able to communicate with us? The thing is, if it's an intelligent haunting, they're able to communicate and do stuff when you ask for it, but if it's something residual, then it's just, they're not able to. I'm just curious why so many people get freaked out in the basement. Are you down in the basement again? The kid that we keep. That? that was something moving. Huh? Sound like a voice. I wonder if I go to the basement by myself. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You sit up here. That was super loud from the basement. Yeah. 
If I come to the basement by myself, will I be safe? A lot of people get creeped. You can't hear that talking. You hear it? Let me go to the basement. Like something just ran down the steps. Back here. Yeah. Well, don't tell me that if I'm going down there. I swear to God, it just sounds like something went. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm coming down here. I don't want you to hurt me, okay? I mean you no harm. So right now I'm in the basement, Rocky's staying upstairs. So we go upstairs, we hear stuff down here. When we're down here, we hear stuff upstairs. So we're gonna split up. Unfortunately, Sean's not feeling well, so he's out in the car. I to find somewhere to put my camera. Okay, I'm down here in the basement by myself. Who is the kid that we were hearing? This basement is like crazy creepy. So another thing besides finding out, is this house haunted? She wants to find out what happened to her son. I'm going to run an SP7 session. Donnie, are you inside this house? What? what? Donnie, we're here to talk, help your mom figure out what happened to you. My name is Josh. Donnie, were you murdered? Donnie, do you remember how you died? Did you just touch me? Yes. Donnie, were you murdered? Donnie, were you dead before you went into the water? Are there any spirits that know what happened to Donnie? I love you. Donnie, we've got a couple of your items right here. I need to know, are you in this house? Yes or no? Who is in this house? If you die, Donnie, and somebody killed you, can you give me their name? How did you get into the water?
Whoever's in this house, I'm going to set the alarm there. Does that mean you're down here with me? Okay, I'm going to run and get the polterscope. And try it down here and see what kind of responses I get. What in the Something just said hi. I got cold chills. What's wrong? Something just said hi. And it was a little girl. Oh, really? I'm not, I, this, this is like really messed up. I mean... It's like class, class A, whatever you want to call it, voice that just came across. I, look, I got cold chills off that one. And it was like a drawn out high. I mean, rewind that and listen to that. I'm serious, just... Okay, I got cameras. This got to be the creepiest thing I've ever seen for... Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. What in the f That was inside the house too. Where is it? just said hi. Yeah, it goes hi. Yeah, I still got cold chills after that. It was like it was just right on the other side of the couch or right here sitting with me. And it goes hi. It's like it was carried out just. I don't know, I just got use something. Is that polter scope in a case or gonna bring it in? Okay, I've got a device. Whoever's in here, who is the kid that Rocky heard? I'm definitely getting high EMF spikes down here. Who did we hear upstairs? Dispose. Dispose. Memories. Memories. What memories do you have? Can you tell me what your name is? My name is Josh. I am just here to talk to you. I want to know if you once lived in this house. Cage. Cage. Is there a little girl in this house? Ninety-six years. Ninety-six years. This house is over a hundred years. Stab. Stabbed, 96 years. Were you murdered inside this house? Did somebody stab you? If you can see that, it says stabbed, 96 years. Tied. Tied. Were you hurt inside this house? 96 years ago, do you know what happened to Donnie? Do you know who hurt Donnie? Alter. Alter. Kill. kill. It just said kill. Did somebody kill you by stabbing you? That's some crazy responses though. Stone. Stone. Tina. Who is Tina? Tina. 
Tina, did you die here? Did somebody? Shock. Shock. There's definitely a lot of negative stuff coming through this. Trap. Are you walking upstairs? Spirits. How many spirits are in here? Cancer. Cancer. Tina, did you die from cancer? Yes. Did you die from cancer, yes or no? Did somebody murder you? Donnie, are you inside this house? Yes. <gasps> yes. Did somebody murder you? Yes or no? Can you still hear me? You haven't set my REM pod off in a while. Okay, I'm going to set that device right there. Did you leave? This house isn't like super creepy, like dark and scary, but you just get a feeling like there's something in here with you. You just get that feeling like you're not alone. Are you done talking to me? And like earlier, alarms, voices, all that stuff were happening. Now, now the alarms are going off. No more responses. Okay, I'm going to leave this run for a little bit. You can talk to it. It's like the basement was active and then it just went quiet. It was like the alarms and stuff was going off. It was talking to me like crazy. And then all of a sudden it just, everything stopped. Before wrapping up our investigation, we have decided to bring Cindy back in to see if she can contact her son. Donna, you around? Who killed you? Donnie, who killed you? How'd you die, Donnie? Did you die at the river? Donnie, who killed you? Did you die at the river? Yeah. I said, yeah. We're wanting to speak to any spirits that may know what happened to Donnie. Can you hear us, yes or no? Donnie, we're here with your mother. Can you hear us? How did Donnie end up in the water? Donnie was in something. Did you hear that? Yeah, I said so. so Donnie was in something. Donnie, did you go into the water by yourself? Do you remember who hurt you? Did somebody put you in the water? Were you wrapped half in plastic? Did 
Donnie, we're, we're going to get ready to go. Do you want to say anything before we leave? There's a man coming across, and then there's like a female coming across. I'm curious who the female is. So there was no water in his lungs on the autopsy report? No blood so, in his system. So what was the cause of death? They said drowning. They said suffocation, didn't they? No, yeah. no, he's drowning. They told me. They didn't write it down like that. Yeah. They said it was easier this way, putting drowning down. Because the spirits inside this house are causing no harm, and Cindy believes her son comes to visit her, we will not be doing a cleansing on this house tonight.